Hello and welcome to Exotic Ghana UK, Yacht Chris Weekly. And on this week's episode, we'll be looking at a threat to our collocasias and allocasias. So what is the virus I'm talking about that's going to damage potentially colocasias and alocasias and xanthodesias and other plants like this? Well, on this leaf of this elephant's ear, colocasia mammoth, everything looks pretty okay, pretty consistent green colour, although we do have a little fleck of something slightly different there, but nothing untoward. But then if we look at another leaf on the same plant, we can see what I'm talking about this milky mottled lines going through and on the next one we've got crazy sort of patches in between the veins and on the veins like this and we've also got a little deformed leaf like this as well and this is Dachene mosaic virus often seen in the crops because colocasias and similar plants are grown as a crop in many tropical countries and eat the tubers and sometimes the leaves and because they're grown in vast quantities, you do likely get viruses and things and they can spread quite easily. Well, you can get them also in ornamental types like this one as well. Now this was bought as, well, it was given as a little bulb, so I didn't get it as an actual plant, a little bulb, a few months ago in summer. And these are the first leaves it's grown. And as you can see, it's got the virus. And the virus is spread by, if you're doing cuttings and you get it on secateurs and then touch a healthy plant, you can transfer it that way. And aphids are one of the main vectors. So a little green fly, black fly aphid, will suck some sap from these leaves, this infected colocasia, and then feed on a healthy one. And that's how you can transmit this virus. And although it might look interesting, you might think it's a nice pattern, this will eventually cause more deformity, smaller leaves, less vigour, and eventually probably kill the plant and spread to other plants. You want to get rid of this as soon as possible. And unfortunately, I've got some other colocasias in here which look completely unaffected and don't believe there's any green fly in here. Fingers crossed. So I will keep these other colocasias in here but I will get rid of this one and I'll sort of quarantine this area so I won't put any other colocasias or related plants in this propagator. So unfortunately this is going in the bin and like I said you normally get this if you've grown cocoa yams, edos, colocasias that you've got from the supermarket and vegetable stores as the big sort of combs, combs or sorry combs or bulbs and you've grown them on and they are the ones most likely to be infected and then it can transfer to your nice ornamental types as well it doesn't usually come in this form where it's ornamental types spread into ornamental types but once it's in there then it can spread quickly around the garden so if you see this pattern so let's take a closer look milky pattern whitish creamish color splodges all the way through then get rid of it as soon as possible you see this one looks okay but this one isn't but it's the same plant so all that unfortunately needs to go and i'll just show you what other ones look like in the garden and compare because there are some other sort of variation in leaves that look like this virus but it's just a nutrient deficiency so i'll show you that now now here's a big clump of Colocasia pink china growing in the garden and we're getting later on in the season now and running out of sort of fertilizer nutrients in the soil a little bit and you do see some sort of marbling to the leaves. This isn't the Dachene mosaic virus but you might be a little concerned if you see this and obviously you can feed this to help combat this sort of colouring. But it's a natural process. The older leaves do go a little bit yellowish and a bit mottled, but the fresh leaves should look healthy. There is one slight concerning feature on one of these leaves, and that is this patch here, where you've got a different colour. This may be a virus, but it's not something that's 
as bad as the mosaic virus. You get the odd patch here and there, but it's not affected the vigor of the Collocasia pink chinas. As you can see, there's absolutely loads here and they're growing really strongly, putting out lots of new leaves. And this sort of colouring, like I said here, so you've got a bit of missing colour there. So it's less green, a bit wavy. That's, like I said, that's just lack of fertiliser at this time of year as we move in towards October now. And this is simply an old leaf. So this is nothing to worry about. This is just an old leaf that's ageing and dying and that will just decay naturally. You can see there's plenty of big healthy leaves on these pink chinas here. Thank you for watching this edition of Exotic Garden UK. Join me next week, we'll be doing more in the garden.